Hello everyone, so today we're going to be going over input in Python 3.3.1. Now, the difference between this version of input and input from 2.7 is that this does not use the eval statement, so it's it's safe to use input instead of having to use raw input and then integer raw input. Also, a difference is that input converts everything to a string by default, so any input given is a string and not treated as a integer. So, if you're from 2.7, that might be a little bit weird to you, but trust me, it's not that difficult and you'll get used to it pretty fast. Um, also, raw input does not exist anymore. Uh, we can test that by just typing raw input, which I'm kind of glad because that's just a ridiculous function name. Uh, but yeah, so input is called just like that, input parentheses, and we can say 4 and it gives us the string value 4. Now, if we wanted to assign this to a variable, or assign the input of someone um, to a variable, we can say a is equal to input. Now we can type in hello, and a will return hello. Now, like I said, it does not take integers, or it does not return an integer value, even if an integer is supplied. So what we have to do is we have to cast it or perform an integer conversion on input, which is very easy. Um, so you guys are kind of getting two tutorials in one. To do this, you would do something like b is equal to um, int left parenthesis input left parenthesis right parenthesis right parenthesis. Now what the int function does is it takes anything inside of it and changes it into an integer if possible. So if we um, execute that, we can type in 13, and then b will give us 13, the number 13 and not the string 13. We can prove this by saying b plus 3, and that gives us 16, because 13 plus 3 is 16. Um, also, other than int, there is also another function called str parentheses, which you can use to change numbers into strings, um, if need be. So we could say like a plus str left parenthesis b right parenthesis which gives us hello 13 as a string which we could then print out or do whatever we wanted to um, that's pretty much the basis of um, input there's not much more to it you can call it inside of other functions and then it will still ask for input like we showed with uh, integer input um, we can do print input and say hello and it will print out hello for us that's pretty much all there is to it there's not much um, to the input function you can use it to gather input from a user and then just send that into some function as an argument and everything will be fine uh, so yeah it's a lot less difficult than the 2.7 version if you guys have any questions on this video or any of my other videos or even suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see future videos, also subscribe and like this video because that helps and it shows me that you guys actually want to keep seeing these. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.